Thank you everybody for 30k subscribers. I love you all for supporting me and now I'm going to show you the secrets of my animations. By drawing Jenny Wakeman as little as possible. How did I do that you ask? By making Jenny Wakeman into a puppet. But first, you should download Tahoma 2D in the description below when you will come across a website where you can download it for Windows. If you have other softwares, click on this button and you will find the rest. Once you've saved it in a file, downloaded it and installed, we can get started with six easy steps. Step 1. Open up Tahoma 2D. And for this first project, we're going to call it Character Model. We're going to separate our character's body parts into different pieces. <laughs> Excuse me. You can call the scene whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Jenny Character. This is a lot easier if you can find a reference. You can find this on Google or in the description below. If you already have a character ready, it's as simple as dragging and drop and import. Click on A on your keyboard to use the animation tool and move it accordingly. Use scale if necessary. Step 2. Decapitating your favorite character. Add a layer. Choose a vector and name it in the following. Jenny's head. Left. Right. Arm. Left. Right. Foot. Left. Right. Ponytail. Left right and since Jenny's neck is as thick as her thighs I'll leave it at one layer if your character is not Jenny separate those thighs just like your sister and this is what you should have I almost forgot chest and hip part three if you don't know how to draw I feel sorry for you and if you can't follow what I'm about to do next, I suggest you get good. Click on G to get geometry tool, change it to an ellipse and trace Jenny's head. Tracing is wrong, but only if you get caught. So don't snitch. Click E for eraser, adjust thickness and erase the circle. Move vector, point with C and T to tape close. Use R for the color picker tool. While you are using geometry tool, change it to a polyline and tick these three boxes to draw Jenny's hair and face into a solid color. Click S for the selection tool and move it onto your canvas. If you want to draw instead, press B and you can adjust the size or thickness in the top left corner. Don't forget to rotate your legs, arms, neck and thighs just like this leg 90 degrees. If you have finished all of your body parts, what are you doing? You haven't saved! Control S! Control S! Quickly! Quickly! Before part 4! Part 4. If you made it this far, thank you for not having TikTok brain. Thank you for being normal. Now you can close your saved project and open up Tahoma 2D again. And now we're going to make an animation project. This is where you're going to build your character and put them together. But first we're going to have to find your drawings and import them. So click on the settings that you need and then change your frames per second and then create scene. Uh oh. Just kidding. So we're going to add a layer and we just need to add one. Make sure it's a vector layer. You can name it whatever you want. And this is where we're going to animate our character. But first we need to go into the browser tab and then look for Tahoma 2D. Drop down arrow, library, and we're going to focus on two files, which is vector brushes and custom styles. This is where we're going to put our drawings in step five. Now we quickly go into your file explorer, go into documents and find your saved file, your character model, and then click go into drawing file. And then we finally get to see all of your body parts that you have made. Drag and drop 
it into the custom styles and vector styles. I'm going to show you what is the difference between the both of them. In part six, yay, it's almost over. I can finally see my wife and kids. <laughs> finally, we can go into the vector tab right above the color wheel and then we can drag this down open up custom styles and you can see your body parts in all of its glory and you can add it into the coffin box by adding the plus button so this is how it works so you can draw using your vector brush and draw on your canvas and size it up with this little rectangle on the corner with the pump tool when you click on S, I think, yeah, your selection tool has a pump tool. And now you can see that it's just a picture on some of them and with the custom styles. Vector brushes or vector styles is literally a flexible version of your vector image. You're able to bend and twist, but if you bend it too much, you can see how it glitches or breaks so just avoid that and this is how pretty much how i animate all of my animations that you've seen on this video and the videos i've posted last week and the week before are all made using this rig if you made it to the end and you want to learn how to make the powerpuff girls spongebob or an original character of your own, consider becoming a member of my channel. You can easily join with a click of a button, $5 a month, and if you decide to stay, there will be exclusive emojis behind the scenes, and you'll get to see my animations earlier than anybody else. And if you don't want to stay, that's fine. You can always cancel at any time. Bye.